Hello, hello, everyone. I give God the glory, the praise, and the honor for a new day. Today is March 27th, March 27th, 2021. Well, I'm here because I had a few dreams. I had five dreams, but I'm not going to share all, you know, the dreams. I'm just going to tell you a little bit what the Holy Spirit quickened my spirit with, um, you know, and it's good. It's all good. But I want to first give God the praise, the honor, and the glory for his goodness, <clears throat> for blessing us to see a new day, for his grace and mercy and favor is good all the time. I just thank him and I love him. <laughs> I thank the Lord. He is worthy to be praised. I thank you to my return subscribers, uh, my visitors, those who are curious, uh, just want to check out this ministry channel. Um, it's just a word of encouragement and words from the Holy Spirit, you know, when he quickened my spirit with words to share because I never know who might need to hear it. So I just try and be obedient when he give me something. <clears throat> and like I said, today is March 27, 2021. So I had a dream. I had five dreams. Um, and it's short. It's going to be real short. You know, five dreams. And one of the dreams, I write, you know, I write everything down. One of the dreams was about a glass door. It was about a glass door, um, like a glass sliding door. And the Holy Spirit quickened my spirit when I asked them, what does that mean, you know? What does it mean to dream about, you know, glass doors that you could see through, sliding doors that you could see through? And he quickened my spirit telling me that um, it's um, reflective of you and goals that you've set. So um, it's about prosperity, open paths. So glass doors are good, <laughs> good to dream about. Okay, and I also when I in one of my dreams I dreamt about I dreamt about people accomplishing things, um, people accomplishing things. In fact, it was a dream about my cousin who accomplished something, um, like a track, um, a tile track. I think that's what it was in the dream, but he accomplished it, and um, he got rewarded for it. So that's a good thing. The Lord is letting us know that. We're going to be getting rewarded for, for things that we do, accomplishments, things that we achieve, you know. We're going to be getting rewarded. And I dreamt about water. Water is creative energy, um, refreshment, ideas of infinite change. So water is a good thing. Something new, you know, washing away of old and getting ready for something new. I dreamed about, in the dream, one of the dreams, it was about um, green grass as well. So, green grass, like new territory, life, flourishing, is new, you know. I'm excited, all these, um, <laughs> with the dreams, I'm excited myself. And also... I was dreaming about rescuing someone. Well, it was more than someone. It was people, rescuing people. And it's um, important sacrifices and urgent problems to solve. So we're rescuing, we're helping people, rescuing them, you know, saving them, um, getting them out, out of trouble, you know, being a blessing to others. Also, I had a dream about a spider. And the spider was like crawling on my shoe. It kept crawling around my shoe, around the heel part. And people were trying to like blow it, knock it off. But it kept running from right to left, right to left, you know. But it didn't bite me. It never bit me. So the Holy Spirit, you know, let me know that that's the Lord protecting me, protecting us. The Lord's protection, overcoming the enemy. Victory is ours, says the Lord. Oh, yeah. Victory is ours, says the Lord. And also, 
like in um, one of the dreams, I woke up at 8.11 a.m. And the number eight is God's perfect order. Well, the number, I'm sorry, let me see. The number eight in the Bible signifies resurrection and regeneration. It is the number for a new beginning. Mm -hmm. God rested on the seventh day. So the eighth day is a day of new beginning. And the biblical meaning for 11, you know, because it was 8 11 when I woke up, things that are considered imperfect. Um, and, you know, it also has something to do with like disorder and chaos. Um, but 8 and 11, I added those together. There's 19, and that's God's perfect order, regard to his judgment in the Bible. Yeah. And. 11 also symbolizes, well, 11 is, you know, like the number one, but it's one and one. So it's 11 and it symbolizes primary, like a, a, a primary and primary and unity. I'm um, referring to the unit that exists between God and the father and Jesus Christ. 11 is one plus one which is two, <clears throat> and you know, two is union between church and Christ, union between man and woman. Mm -hmm. And then the date was today, March 27th, 2021. So seven is complete. Seven is complete. And let me see. March 27, 2021, when I added that together, it was 14. And 14 is, it is a multiple of seven. 14 partakes of the importance and being double that number. It implies double measure of spiritual perfection. Yes. And let me see. Eight. 11 a.m. That's when I woke up from that dream. So 8 plus 11 is 19. Like I said, God's perfect order in regard to judgment in the Bible. In the other dream, well, you know, because I had dreams like back to back. It was five dreams total. But I was like, I dreamt. And then I wake up in another dream. I mean, I, well, I didn't wake up, but I'll be in another section, like another area of the dream when I had the next dream. And then I may be in another area of the dream when I had the next dream. But when I woke up from that dream, it was 8-11. So then I fell back to sleep and then I dropped again. And I woke up from these dreams at 9.44 a.m. So like I said, 9.44 a.m. A total is 17. 9.44 a.m. The total amount when I add it together is 17. 17 is overcoming the enemy, complete victory. And the spider never bit me. So hallelujah, that's complete victory in Jesus' name. And then one equals primary and unit, unity. Seven is complete. Nine, you know, 9.44 a.m. Nine is the fruits of the Holy Spirit. Four is creation. And four, important, you know, four, they have four important elements, you know. You know, earth, water, fire air um I'm trying to see what else i wrote down 44 the final part of jesus earthly ministry his crucifixion and his ascension was in 44 days yes 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 and as i was sitting down in the living room on a love seat writing these dreams down quickening my spirit was of death you know death came upon me that's quick that quickened my spirit and i felt some of these dreams were warnings from the lord um but the words the holy spirit like quickened my spirit with were new beginnings completeness complete victory overcoming the enemy unity union marriage also Fruits of the Spirit, um, creation, birthing something new, God's perfect order, 
union between Christ and church, union between man and woman. <clears throat> and the Lord is speaking of double measure for spiritual perfection, moving forward and overcoming. So that's what he, that's what he gave me. It's not much, but that's what he gave me. <laughs> and I'm still, you know, praying and, and waiting and believing for him to give me um more, more about it, you know, because he always shares stuff with me, but it's um in bits and pieces at times. So I don't know who it's for, but I know it's for someone, Um, maybe for many. But I just want to be obedient. I want to share what he gave me. So the prayer of salvation, if you don't know Christ and you want to get to know him, you want to start walking for him, you know, I have the prayer of salvation. I'm going to say it and you can say it right after me. Dear Lord Jesus, I ask for you to forgive me of my sins. I believe you died and you rose from the dead. I turn from my sins and my wicked ways. I invite you into my heart and my life. I accept you as my Lord and my Savior. So, if you said that, hallelujah, praise the Lord. Welcome, welcome to the family. I have Romans 10th chapter, 13 verse, NIV. <clears throat> Excuse me. Everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. Romans 10th chapter, 13 verse, NIV. Everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. I have Romans 10th chapter 9 verse, 10th chapter 9 verse, NIV. And it says, if you declare with your mouth, Jesus is Lord, and you believe in your heart, the Lord raised him from the dead, you will be saved. And I have Acts, 2nd chapter, 38 through 39 verses, NASB. Peter replied, repent and be baptized, every one of you. In the name of Jesus Christ, for the forgiveness of your sins, and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit, the promises for you and your children, and for all those who are far off, for all whom the Lord our God will call. Yep. And so you have to read right here. Read, test the spirit, y'all. You can't trust everybody who say they believe in God or Lord, because you don't know if they're talking about the same God and Lord that I'm talking about. And I'm speaking of with this new age, you know, stuff that they're doing now. So make sure you, um, because Jesus came from flesh. Make sure you read 1 John 4th chapter 1 through 6 verse ESV. And it's telling you about Jesus, how he came and he came as flesh. And he took our sins upon himself because he was no sin. So we can have salvation through him to the Father. And also read about um, the spirit of divination. Acts 16, chapter 16 through 18 verses. NASB is speaking about the spirit of divination. You know, like the Antichrist spirit, the spirit of Python, of Delphi. Um, so, hallelujah, praise the Lord. I just give God the praise, honor, and glory for his goodness. And I know that word is for someone. Because I pray in Jesus' name, Father, to let this word fall on those who have an ear to hear and a heart to receive, um, that it fall on good ground. Um, I pray for the nation. I pray for our government, that they lead us in fairness, integrity, and truth. Father, I pray for the souls of America. I pray for the churches of America, Father, that they have compassion for you, Father, compassion for one another, passion for prayer and worship, Father, Passion for praise and worship, Father, for praising you. Compassion for each other, Father. I just pray, Father, in Jesus' name, <clears throat> that we all walk in unity, love, prosperity, Father, new beginnings. Um, Because these words you dropped in my spirit, union, union with Christ and the church, and union with man and woman, you know, to be husband and wife. I thank you, Lord, just for keeping us and blessing us in everything and just guiding our paths, Father, in all things. So I'm glad you guys and girls, I dropped in, you know, to check out the um, ministry channel. 
but it's just a short word today it wasn't long it was just he gave me those five dreams today and i was like wow lord it's five back to back and um and when he gave me stuff like that i know it's an urgency that he want me to share it because someone may need to hear something it may be just one thing one word in that in that and you know he wanted me to share it and get that out get that get those words out get what he told me to get out the numbers out and everything so many blessings to you if you need prayer you can contact me my gmail link i will put it up um so many blessings to you and your families and thank you for stopping in y'all have a good one i love you